Hi there, everybody. This is Dr. Kimberly Olson here for part two of Differential Diagnosis Made Easy or Easier. Um, today, we're going to talk about anxiety disorders, um, and I'm going to differentiate for you the most commonly confused or misunderstood diagnoses. So let's take a peek at anxiety disorders. Okay, so the ones that I most often see mixed up are generalized anxiety disorder, social anxiety disorder, and agoraphobia. So generalized anxiety disorder, I like to call it every man syndrome because it's excessive worry or anxiety for more days than not for at least six months over reality-based constraints. What are reality-based constraints? Well, that's, that's things like your bills, uh, having enough money to send your kid to college or enough money to pay your rent, depending on where you're at right now in your life. Um, but it is worry, excessive worry. Think of the worry wart as somebody with generalized anxiety. And so it will cause symptoms such as difficulty controlling the worry, um, restlessness, fatigue, poor concentration, irritability, muscle tension, and obviously sleep disturbance. So a lot of these folks are unable to sleep. So you will know it's generalized anxiety because it's going to be marked by worry over reality-based constraints, okay? So I'm going to actually jump to agoraphobia before I do social anxiety disorder. So agoraphobia, a lot of people think only in terms of shut-ins, but that's only one version of agoraphobia. It's anxiety in the following circumstances public transportation, open spaces, enclosed spaces, standing in line or in a crowd, or being outside of the home. Um, that could also include just being in the Walmart when there's lots of people. That could, could include, by the way, being stuck in traffic. Um, so it could include any number of things where you don't think you're gonna be able to escape. Okay, now again, this might not be like a conscientious thought. You're not in the Walmart going, damn, I'm not going to be able to escape. No, but all of a sudden you're experiencing irritability, anxiety, um, and maybe even full-blown panic attacks. And some people get so bad that they stop leaving the house. Okay, but that doesn't mean, again, that all agoraphobics do it. Um, many agoraphobics, because they have no choice but to do life, uh, they do what they have to do, but tolerate the distress behind it. Social anxiety disorder is different. It's excessive fear of a negative evaluation. So when I think about this, um, I think about a story of a former musician. Most of you probably are too young to remember who Donny Osmond is, but he performed for years and years. And then he performed in New York on one occasion and received a really negative review. And after that, when he would go up to perform, he would start sweating, heart would start racing, and it was intense panic. So that's what's meant by excessive fear of negative evaluation. So uh, he was afraid to get on stage because people might judge him, um, that he might say or do something that's humiliating. Um, in a lesser form, these people would rather take the F than get in front of the group and do public speaking. They don't like to be around groups of people, uh, again, not because they are afraid they can't escape, but their fear, in fact, has more to do with, are they going to think badly about me? Am I going to do something dumb? Um, I'm always reminded of teenagers who have sort of this baseline level of social anxiety, um, which part, partially is about the fact that we see the resurgence of egocentrism in adolescence, but that's a story for another day. So if you have to break it up, here are your key differences. So generalized anxiety is excessive worry over reality-based constraints. And the way that I like to tell the anxiety disorders apart are Agoraphobia is fear of the crowd. Social anxiety is fear of the people in the crowd. Okay. So remember, agoraphobia, fear of the crowd. Social anxiety is fear of the people 
in the crowd. All right, well, um, I hope that you got some clarification and I'll help you with uh, diagnosing. And I will be back next time to talk with you about ADHD and the uh, externalizing types of disorders and how to differentiate ODD from conduct disorder and that sort of thing. So I wish you well. I hope you have a great day.